and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog and welcome to the day where we're doing a full overview and reveal on my YouTube channel of Dream Diesel giveaway number 30, which is that 9,000 original mile L5P fully loaded top to bottom Denali Duramax 2500 HD. I've been so unbelievably excited about revealing this truck because truthfully, I kept this one completely a secret from you guys throughout the entire build process, mostly because I wanted to show you this color in its true and completed form and it turned out so incredibly well. I know I get this excited about every single one of the trucks that we finish, but this one's extra special because me and blue just don't really typically associate. We've done a lot of vehicle wraps with earth tones and they turn out so incredibly well and this one is no different. It's actually this really cool slate blue color, but it's a gloss finish so it looks like a factory paint and the guys over here at Accelerate absolutely knocked it out of the park with the full color transformation. Now I'm even more excited about this one because it's the first ever wrap to chrome coordination we've ever done. Full transparency for launch week, 23 times entries are live for your chance to take that truck and $30,000 cash home. We did 23 times entries because we thought it was cool to kick off 2023. Guys, welcome to the new year. We are so excited about where this year is headed and we are so thankful for the years in the past because they've helped to get us here with all the credit due to your support. We are so thankful, we're so appreciative and we love the camaraderie. So let's talk about this transformation, man. This is quite the glow up and this is an absolutely killer package to say the least. So as I had said, this is an all original 9,000 mile, basically preserved L5P Denali and we at Enthusiast absolutely love, we adore, we cherish the 15 to 19 GMC and Chevy HD Duramaxes. I would put a strong argument up in saying that these are essentially becoming the greatest late model truck ever built. Although the new ones are absolutely amazing, these ones almost share that same novelty and nostalgia as what you would say the classic Cat Eye Duramax. Yes, those are bold words, but I think that we can all agree. The Limebridge Automotive found us this truck in its completely stock form and my good friend Sam King actually kind of somewhat bought this one for me because he knew that if he let this opportunity pass up, I would be so sad and I'm glad that he didn't do that. I've got very good friends. Now the truck is completely fully loaded top to bottom. We've got lane departure sensor up front in the back. You've got your backup cameras, factory spray and bed liner with fifth wheel and gooseneck, backup mirrors in the lights, turn signals in the mirrors and a full on jet black interior. The Denali interiors are sweet because they have such soft plush seats, white accent stitching, and a whole bunch of other things that we'll get into at the end of this video. So full on overview, let's start from the front and work our way back, shall we? First things first, I turn the headlights off so you guys can see these things without them, and then I'll show you guys how sick these headlights are when they function. But we're talking a full slate blue color change from front to back, but this color combination was a little bit different because we couldn't just black out some of the factory chrome, rather we had to accentuate the chrome. So this truck is a combination of paint and wrap. That's paint, that's 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 wrap. You guys get the point. None of these crazy ideas would be possible without Peach Bottom Auto Body because they were able to tie out the color perfectly. We do not put any low cost or low quality parts on our builds, mostly because Enthusiast is a high quality brand. It represents high quality people through the network and the entourage in Lancaster that is all high quality shops and service providers. So then the combination is chrome as comp but chrome was a big factor in this build because too much blue would have been no bueno. So we've got chrome Duramax factory badge placement, chrome hood scoop. We did the 2019 GMC grill in place of the 17. They're a little bit different where they don't actually have these breakups in between. And honestly, this one just looks so fitting, so perfect, so sick. We left the chrome insert here on in the front of the Denali where you actually have the ability to put a front plate if your state requires, which Pennsylvania does not. That's one thing Pennsylvania has going for it. Lower valence was painted to match, wrapped around the sensors and the vinyl wrap on the sensors does not impair its functionality, which is pretty cool. Morimoto fog lights and headlights built by Fill It Fast Headlights. Stand up, dude, stand up, job, just absolutely killer, knocked it out of the park. So to play in part with the upgrades, we got the 2019 grill, but we went back a few generations for these headlights right here because they were only produced from 16 to 19, and it was never on the 25 or 3500 HD trucks, rather these C style headlights only came on 16 to 18, 1500 GMCs. Now what's pretty cool is a hack in the aftermarket for the OEM Plus guys, AKA all of us and enthusiasts, you can get these to retrofit with full functionality into the HD trucks and there's a surprise in the back you guys are not gonna wanna miss, we'll get there soon. So Phil had actually stenciled that with a quarter inch stencil the whole way around the LED light bezel and then that way it shines through very bright but is nice and precise. We painted the amber on the side because it's useless, paint matched the entire rest of the headlight to the color of the truck and then left all the chrome. Now a little industry secret, maintaining and preserving this chrome is extremely difficult in only a select few handful of 
custom light builders have perfected it. And you can see why now we work with Phil. Not only because he's an awesome guy, but because he knows his stuff and it comes out so good. We don't have time to skimp on quality because we build these trucks in such quick amount of times, but we build them to the highest spec standard. All right, now I'm jumping ahead a little bit. We'll get to the rest of the stuff here, but I wanted to show you the taillights as well. Same thing in the rear applies 16 to 18 only. They actually come slightly tinted from the factory on the exterior of the taillight. The rest is paint matched. We did a stencil on the outside to cover up the red in the rear, and then we left the chrome accents around the side, around the inside, and the full reverse light right here. And then we've got a recon third brake light up there because there's nothing cool about third brake lights, and we went with recon because they're clear and they match. All right, so real quick, let's turn these things on so we can show you guys the rest of the lights on this truck. All right, so we've got the turn signal on the side. You guys can see the mirrors are pretty special, and the headlights are super special as well. So if we were looking at you behind the wheel of your new truck making a left turn at an intersection, you're going to see switchback functionality in the headlights. So that's your daytime running light, and that is your switchback. And then we've also got switchbacks on the mirrors to match, amber sequential in style, and then solid white when it's not enabled. Mirror lights are done by Boost Auto Parts. These are so, so nice. And the stencil quarter inch here is the same as stencil quarter inch here, painted to match the truck itself with sanded smooth paint match mirrors. This glue up the front of the truck tremendously. And that headlight mod in and of itself is not cheap, A, eh? but it comes at the highest quality and functionality and aesthetic appearance. It is my favorite mod probably to any Duramax that can ever be made. Now, the other big thing that we're all about is matching the tone of the light. So the tone of the headlight is actually matched to the tone of the mirror lights. I really hate seeing when people do a white light conversion, if that includes or excludes cab lights. And it's like the mirror lights are a different hue than the headlights are a different hue than the fog lights are a different hue than the cab lights. So one of my biggest pet peeves, and people honestly typically do that for two reasons. One, because they don't know any better, or two, because they're trying to save a dime and a dollar in their build, but then the longevity of it just doesn't really make sense. We also have the same hue coming out from the Morimoto fog lights. Everything ties together at the same light temperature. Now bringing you guys back around the truck because you gotta get the full light effect. There's your turn signal integrated with the brake light out of that C shape. And there's your dimmer light on auxiliary mode. These things just look so amazing. We'll come back to this more. And then for the full effect, these are all full factory LED headlights. So you're going to get the brightest headlight possible. And the look at night, come on, are you kidding me? That is just absolutely gorgeous. All right, so I did skip ahead a little bit. Let's start making our way down the side of the truck. We talked about the fender flares, how they match the actual body color. Peach bottom knocking it out of the park. Chrome is complement on the top and bottom mirror cap. So that way it plays in line with the chrome accents here along the side of the truck. Retaining chrome and chrome, which breaks up the whole side profile of the truck absolutely amazingly. The roof is wrapped to color match. The third brake light is paint to match. Big old Denali in the bed, just to remind people that you have a Denali. I mean, come on, there's no more alpha anything than a Denali Duramax. Coming to the rear, same thing applies. We've got paint on the inside to match the body color. Sensors done in the rear as well, and you're not getting any ghost signal. GMC badges, I forgot to mention, in the front and in the rear have been paint to match. Retaining the chrome, which breaks up the rear end so incredibly nicely. And then the tailgate handle bezel, sanded smooth, painted, and matches perfectly. Now in these trucks, we like to keep the bumper plastics non-painted for the most part. That way they can function. You can step on them. You can step into your truck and not have to worry about messing up any of the premium finish. But these taillights though, man, they are my absolute favorite. Whereas the factory ones that come in these trucks are just basically two kind of incandescent bulbs. They're okay. They don't really look amazing. But the cool thing about these taillights is, and you don't find this often, but they come with a clear lens from the factory. It seems like all manufacturers have kind of done away with this. I don't really know why, but this is amazing for the aftermarket when you want to retain factory. Components, they just look so good. All right, guys. So that's a quick little look at the body. The only thing I did not mention is the Enthusiast Polished Bullet Antenna. We've got that on the truck. They come on all of our trucks except Dodge's because we can't outfit them because they have them on the roof and we're not going to make a roof shark fin. That'd be kind of weird. All righty, now let's talk a little bit about what's done suspension-wise, shall we? Cognito four to six inch powder coated gloss white to give this thing a winter theme. We've never really done like a themed build for the season, although we kind of have the opportunity to because we're in Pennsylvania. I don't know, we just had a lot of other really amazing options and build ideas, so we just do it. But this one was cool because it is kind of like a winter theme. We've got the blue, we've got the white, and it's very fitting. So Cognito four to six inch, no torsion bar drop. All powder coated white here on the bottom, powder coated white on the front, cross member extension with the factory Cognito badge. Like that little touch there on the upper control arm and the front cross member because it ties out to the whole theme of the truck. Fox 2.0 with reservoirs in the front, in the back, powder-coated leaf springs to match, and then powder-coated trailer hitch receiver to match.
hatch as well. It brings out all that color right to the rear end and it gives the back end just such an amazing look, although it's already a 12 out of 10. All right, so what are we rolling around on here, Jack? We've got ourselves a set of JTX Trigger Concave 8-spoke wheels, 24 by 14 smooth lip, no false rivets with JTX forged in two locations, and then custom-made billet floating enthusiast holy grail center caps. These things are actually weighted, so they work very well, where sometimes center caps just are very, very floaty from other companies, not gonna name names. These ones, however, work great, and they stay right in place. They kind of look like that as you're driving it down the road. Very smooth operation too, might I add. Polished spike lug nuts front to rear. And then these things are wrapped in the Terra Hunter XT by Venom. It is a true 14 and a half wide tire on a 14 wide wheel. So it gives that very trued up look. And my OGs know that I am an absolute sucker for that fit and finish because it gives these trucks such a bulldog stance. Now to tie up and complete the exterior, we've got 18 enthusiast ultra bright LED rock lights on this thing, which are also available on our site. Our standard is two in each wheel well. So we got two, four, six, eight, and then we've got two up front two in the rear, and then three along each side. That gives us a really nice white look, and those LEDs match up to those LEDs, match up to those LEDs, match up to the headlights, match up to the fog lights. You guys get the gist. It's just these little things that go a really long way in our opinion. All right, so now that we covered all the details of the exterior, how about we jump inside? All right, let's jump on into this thing, shall we? 9,270 miles on the clock. That is wild. All right, so we got 5% tint on the sides, 5% tint in the rear. Sunroof fully loaded. We've got the slide rear window we are going to open up all this stuff just so we can see a little bit better and shed some light on the situation now i'm actually about to pull the truck out and get cruising in this thing soon because it looks like it might be in the middle of a regen we've kind of started and stopped it and moved it a bunch of times but finally the weather is broke so we just got to drive for a little while to get that off which i'm not going to be upset about at all because this thing drives so well the four to six inch is one of my favorite lift kits ever made not only does it increase your capability of running a wider cooler set of wheels it also improves the ride quality because you don't depend on the torsion bars as much on the these independent front suspension trucks, which in turn then softens the ride because it's using the suspension and not the torsion key and bar to keep things where they need to be. So fully loaded on the inside, Denali trim, so fresh. This thing almost smells brand new still. Rock light switch is down hidden in this little kick well. It's a nice little spot where you can reach down, flick it off, flick it on, and it's a subtle red tone where you're driving and it's actually not in your eyeball. It's not a nuisance at night, but it will remind you to turn your lights off before you get out. Full closing, automatic up, automatic down. Down. You've got adjustable power folding mirrors, four wheel drive, trailer braking assist, you can adjust your gain right here for whatever it is that you need to tell. The cool thing about the Denali's is in this year, 17 to 19, it actually comes with blue LEDs, which goes nice with the exterior of the truck. And the Denali gauge cluster is semi customizable. You can kind of change the way that that looks, which is pretty cool. You've got wireless charging capabilities here, all of your power outlets and auxiliaries here, adjustable foot pedals, lights for your bed, park warning, lane departure assist, hill assist, exhaust brake, independent climate control, driver, and passenger side. Heated and cooled seats for both driver and passenger. Also heated steering wheel, which is the freaking best. This truck's also got the Bose premium sound system, which sounds incredible. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I did mention the seats, but I want to emphasize the seats. For some reason, this generation of trucks is just so comfortable. It's not like these things are massive on the inside. It's not like they're very small on the inside, but man, they're just right. I'm super biased because I started my entire business, my YouTube channel, everything with a 2015 LML Duramax. So these things kind of have a soft spot, but you guys can relate with me on that. I know it for fact there's just something really special about these years the back seats are absolutely mint who knows if they were ever even used you've got multiple storage spots and everything ready to rock and roll and we also include the specific lug nut key for those extended spikes so now that you guys got a full comprehensive look at dream diesel giveaway number 30 what are your thoughts on this build i personally think it turned out so incredibly well and it might be one of my favorite builds of all times but i have to say i have a soft spot i also wanted to make mention that we do have led lights for the backup lights and for the license plate lights on order they just haven't arrived yet, but they're going to be in very soon. And honestly, probably by the time this video goes live, they'll already be in. Now, I'm all about giving credit where credit is due. And I just want to say thank you again to the entourage here in Lancaster. We are all about being the enthusiasts. That whole team comes together. These are all independent business owners that are running their day-to-day -day priorities for themselves and for their respective customers that help to make what we do possible. I have these crazy ideas. And if it wasn't for this entourage, these things wouldn't be possible. And we're all about the community. We're all about the passion. And we're all about doing more of what drives us. So I just have to say huge shout out to Accelerate Auto, Standout Specialties, and Lime Ridge for this specific truck and bringing this thing all together. Now we as enthusiasts get to enjoy it for the next month, month and a half until you potentially come to take it from us. Thank you as always for watching. Tap that subscribe button down below. If you haven't followed us on Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, all those links are also in the description below. We'll see you there. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, and we'll see y'all in the next video.